On the other hand, Chris Hani's killer, Janus Falus, is in stable condition this after being stabbed by a fellow inmate at Jose Mamburu Prison in Pretoria. Now, this news in late yesterday afternoon, so in case you've missed mm. it, he was due to be released on parole later this week. Valus has been behind bars since the assassination of Chris Hani back in 1993. Now, and senior reporter Avi Wemdila found this report from outside the Jose Mamburu Prison in Pretoria. Behind these prison walls in the medical wing, Janus Valus, the man who killed struggle stalwart Chris Ani, is currently receiving treatment. A correctional services says he's in a stable condition, but what does this mean for his parole release this Thursday? The SACP says it's forging ahead with a march to this very institution on Wednesday, condemning the Concord decision last week to grant parole. The Correctional Services Ministry, for its part, says it's eagerly awaiting the outcomes of the investigations that are to be conducted by the Department of Correctional Services. Now, we do know, of course, that Yanus Falus was stabbed by one of the inmates at Fosimampur at around 4.30 on, when, on Tuesday afternoon, I beg your pardon. And we do know that that inmate is now currently uh, awaiting to be questioned by the department itself before uh, further information is given out to the public. I'm Aviwe Mutila, outside the Khosi Mampure prison in Pretoria.